Hello and welcome back to the SKU Savvy YouTube channel. Today we're going to go through a common frustration amongst Shopify merchants, which is what to do when you have an order that you need to split and ship with multiple packages under one order. So as you can see here, um, and what we're going to go through today is how Shopify handles this or how you would handle it on Shopify, and then also how you can handle it with SKU Savvy by splitting a single shipment into two different boxes. So what you'll normally, normally see on Shopify is that you've got a few items, a large order that has come in, and we're going to try to split this up without having to produce two separate carrier labels, uh, we'll put them under one carrier. So what we're going to do here is go ahead and create a shipping label for part of the order. Now, what you're going to notice here is that as I reduce some of the stock, so we're going to only package up part of this order here. Shopify has produced a the option to buy a shipping label. So we've selected our packaging. As you can see right now, we just have one box for the items that are going into this order according to their quantities. So we've got our one box and then we have the rates that are coming in based around that single box shipment. So when we purchase the label, it's going to assume that these couple of items are going out with that single shipment. We're still going to be charged for the total of that shipment, right? We're not actually introducing a second box yet. So what you can do to make go around is go into the carrier directly. Here we have FedEx, which does enable, not all carriers are going to enable multi-box shipping. But as you can see, we can enter in the information of our customer here, we can go down and select the number of packages, whether or not those are identical. And then we can enter in the quantity uh, of what weight, dimensional weight, the box is. So that is one way around this. Now, just to reiterate on how that might look within Shopify, as we start fulfilling items, we could go ahead and fulfill part of the order within one box. And we could enter the tracking information that we just produced from our FedEx multi-box package here. So just to reiterate, you would partially select the order, some of the items that you're going to put into box one. You would manually enter the order into FedEx, enter the number of packages or boxes within one order that we're going to use. And then we're just going to fulfill these items according to those boxes. And then we're going to enter the tracking number into this information on the order, which is going to update your customer. So in that case, we're actually doing this separate outside of Shopify, but accomplishing the same result. And this would this tracking information will be related to the order. Again, you're going to do that for both of the orders. So if I partially fulfill this, now we're going to have part of the order already fulfilled and we could add a tracking number there. Uh, and then we could go ahead and fulfill the rest of it. Uh, without again producing a shipping label within within shopify we're going to go ahead and use the carrier directly now let's go through an easier method to do that using SKU savvy so which as you can see here we've got multiple boxes so we're going to go back into a new order example here that we're going to split this into one single shipment with multiple boxes so i'm going to go ahead and fulfill the order and we'll fast forward as i pick through this and once we've picked through, we're on the order fulfillment screen. So at this stage, we can see that all of the items for this order need to be packed. We've already picked them. And at this stage, we could go ahead and split the shipment into two different boxes. This is letting us know that only certain carriers are going to support this. As you can see, all of the items are available to add to each of the individual boxes. So as I start to add these items, they'll check off from the secondary package where we could then load the remaining items into a secondary box. At this stage, we're gonna select which box types we're using. And SKU Savvy is gonna go ahead and pull the rates across our available carriers so that we can ship this out with just a single label, having two different boxes within there. Hopefully that makes a very convenient way to split your shipments into multi-box and cut down on your shipping costs. If you haven't already, make sure to try out SKU Savvy. It's free for 50 orders a month. It's a full warehouse management system designed to organize your warehouse and pick, pack, ship 
faster. We'll see you on the next episode. Be sure to subscribe. We certainly appreciate your support. Have a good one.